Hello guys and welcome back to the F1 Tube YouTube channel and in today's video I will be talking about circuits for the 2020 F1 season and I'm going to start off by talking about the Brazilian Grand Prix moving to Rio instead of Sao Paulo for the 2020 season. Yes, you heard that right. Inter Lagos will not be hosting the Brazilian Grand Prix for the 2020 F1 season, according to the Brazil's president. And why? Well, for financial reasons. Although Brazil is currently a developing country, apparently Sao Paulo just does not have the funds to hold another F1 race beyond 2019. And I am personally Personally, gutted. Inter Lagos, although it's not the beast it used to be, Inter Lagos is a flipping phenomenal track. The weather and the racing is unpredictable and it's what impulses it to be one of the highlights on the F1 calendar. This is the proposed Brazilian Grand Prix track layout from 2020 onwards, designed by you know who, Herman Tilke. My initial thoughts is that it looks a bit similar to Magni Kerr, but for me it just feels like another track in the world which isn't going to breed history. But hey, we haven't raced there yet, so I might be completely wrong. I am now going to talk about tracks that are under threat for the 2020 F1 season, and I'm going to start off with Silverstone. I've already done a video on this, so please go and check it out. It was uploaded in about January, February time. But if Liberty do not keep the British Grand Prix at Silverstone, they have not done their job. Yes, Burnley was acting like an absolute muppet trying to trigger this situation we're in at the moment. But if Liberty really want to bring F1 to the fans, Silverstone is going to be one of their main sources. Next up, we have Catalonia. For me, the catalyst of why the Spanish Grand Prix is normally a processional race is that the circuit to Barcelona, Catalonia is used Eight days for pre-season testing before the season has begun. The teams have a mass of data. I won't be gutted to see it go, but I feel it'll be some kind of loss from the F1 calendar. Next up, we have the Hockenheim ring, and I don't like the track at all. But if it produces great races like we did last year, then who really gives a damn? However, I would much rather the German Grand Prix be held at the Nürburgring than Hockenheim. Now we have Mexico City, and I personally do like the track. No, it's not the old Peril Tardal, which is one of my all-time favourites, to be honest. But it does produce somewhat good racing. The fans are right up there as being one of the best. And I don't feel we've had a boring Grand Prix since its return to the F1 calendar since 2015. Moving on, I'm going to talk about races slash Grand Prix that I feel need to be rectified. And I'm going to start with Albert Park. I do not like the circuit one bit. Yes, it is a unique track. But I feel like what makes it such a special occasion is the fact that it's the first race of the season and drivers are getting used to their new cars. Next up I have the French Grand Prix but I don't want to put it into any speculation about its F1 future because there's only one issue with it, the chicane in the middle of the Mistral straight. It is such an irrelevant chicane and the right hand of following the straight will be a lot more pulsating if the chicane isn't there. Budapest, the Hungara Ring. It's another track I cannot stand. I absolutely despise the Hungara Ring. But when the heavens open and drama is conveyed during the Grand Prix weekend, it is a spectacular event. And to be fair, this is one of the most demanding tracks for drivers. Russia, what a surprise. Everything about it is bad except for Turn 3, which is one of the best corners on the calendar. And also, the fans are just as quiet as mice. The Singapore Grand Prix, the Marina Bay Street Track, is another track I just really, really do not like at all. Yes, it's another demanding track. Yes, the scenery is spectacular, but as a track, I just cannot stand most of the turns. Yes, normally when a driver takes pole position or the race victory, the lap or the race craft was spectacular. But as a racing track, yes, I just do not like it one bit. And of course, we have Yas Marina, and it still beggars belief how much money went into this absolute dog of a track. The three chicanes on the track for me is just what makes it so bad in sector one, sector two and the beginning of sector three. The last sector is comparable to hell. 
But guys, that is it for today's video. Please like this video, comment down below what you thought of this video, and offer your opinions towards me. At the end of the day, we all have the rights to our own opinions, and I'm happy to read yours. And please subscribe to the F1 Tube YouTube channel for more content like this. And until next time, guys, see you later.